G'day people, this is Monsterdad. Welcome to this Alpha 8 Experimental Branch playthrough. Um, last episode, episode 5, we went to the moon with our new SV build. Um, I lost the game, unfortunately, after that. Which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, it's Experimental Branch in Alpha. These things, I guess, we should expect to happen. As it happens, we were near the end of that bit, that section of the playthrough anyway, and, I, and I, my intention was to start a new playthrough. Um, so, let's just do a random seed there. Tarbis. Yeah, sounds like a nice place. So, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to customise the settings a little bit. Um, I'm not going to put everything on hard because the player progression, food, oxygen consumption, the speed of the constructors, etc., is slows the gameplay down considerably but what i am going to do though is put enemy difficulty rate of spawn drone presence drone attack yeah put all those on high and hard and i'll just leave everything else as the medium settings so just to give a bit more a bit more a challenge um and i'll try not to die <laughs> so what do we got usual things on this one 0.86 G. Oh, that's light gravity for that planet. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, let's get into it. And and as I mentioned in the last episode, this time uh, we're not going to follow the Robinson Protocol. We'll try the alternative method and, and see how it goes with that one. Uh, like I said, I my initial thought was that not following the Robinson Protocol, you get given some stuff. And I thought that I sort of likened that one to a quick start scenario, but I tried it in a private game and it actually wasn't any easier whatsoever. It, it was just different. So let's do a playthrough like that. So I'm going to lock my view and have a look around. Now, as we start a new game, we should get all the new updated areas for the world. So we'll look at the map in a bit. I'm going to head towards a small wreckage. There we go. Um, lock the view again and look around. Well, I don't see any POIs in the near distance, but that doesn't really surprise me. They're huge worlds now. Let's see if we can hit it. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> So let's let the Robinson Protocol come up, and this time we're going to skip. Um, if you skip chapter, you'll be given items that you otherwise obtain by playing the chapter. Yep. Do you want to skip? Yes, we do. So we do get some stuff. Um, let's get a few. Let me sort this stuff out. I guess the biggest thing is the 10 fuel, I think, personally, that you, you get. We'll get the food in our hot bar. Just leave those medical supplies down there. Um, yeah. But, I mean, we don't get the motorbike, which I think you get in the Robinson Protocol once you find the wreckage, which is fairly easy to find, quite frankly. Um, but we don't get that big piece of wreckage. So let's have a look at the map. Oh yeah, look, this bit here, that is one of those radiated zones. Yeah, so with Robinson Protocol, you head towards the wreckage as your first mission, and around that wreckage, you, I've found every single time I've done it, is the majority of the resources you need. Um, silicon, oh nice. Silicon, iron, um, copper, I haven't found a use for the spoiled food yet, but oh yeah, you make your nutrients with it, don't you, for grow plots. Yeah, we'll keep it with us for now. What I am going to do is craft one of these survival tools, because I'm going to break these two crates down, because you get four steel plates from these. So it's a, a quick, easy method to get some steel plates. Um, in the meantime, let's load these little babies. And I see some plant protein there. 
Did I stop that loading? No, I didn't. Let's get that on rock drill because that's what we'll be doing first. Now we don't get a suit, do we? No, we still don't get a suit. Um, so really, apart from the motorbike, you get pretty much the same. You just get most of it just a, a little bit faster. And yeah, so we don't have the wreckage to head towards. So I guess it, you know we're we're on our own as to the choices we make. I'm sure I changed it to rock drill. So what I'm going to do? Where should we go? There were another couple of wreckage. There was a wreckage there. Okay, so we'll head towards that one and see if we can find anything useful over there. Um, I'll be breaking rocks, picking plants, just as usual. We've got a bit of biofuel and it's fairly easy to make more with the plant with the plant fibers so I will break crushed stone rocks as well um, because with crushed stone we can there's copper over there I'm gonna grab that copper first. With the crushed stone we can make you know the copper iron and silicon oh yeah we're jumping quite high because it's 0.84 gravity in this one wasn't it okay so we're getting some copper and stone or oh, some berries there i'm going to grab those because we can make some berry juice with those which is good for well there's level two which is good for healing Yeah, sorry that I couldn't finish the last playthrough. I really wanted to get to the end of that Robinson Protocol just to see what the end was like. Um, but like I say, I guess these things happen, don't they? Don't necessarily need all these plants. I'm just picking them purely for the experience. I'm sure I saw some spice here. There it is. So at the moment we're fairly safe from critters as long as that hasn't changed for the first 24 hours or so. Um, you got anything nice for us? Some of these wreckages don't actually have anything. It's quite possible this stuff's buried I guess. I've never dug down into one to find out. Uh, I don't really want to waste the fuel doing it either. Speaking of fuel, let's cut down a couple of trees as well. So when we do settle down somewhere, we can make some more biofuel. So I guess my, my game plan, I guess, will be to get the resources to make a motorbike as quickly as possible. Um, get that made purely so that we can get round to find the, the rock resources as quickly as possible. What I don't want to do is trace through the forest. Um, let's head towards this little hill area here. Uh, I need to find some silicon as well. Um, yeah, so once we've got a motorbike, we can get round to find like iron, copper, and silicon rocks a bit faster. If we're lucky, we'll find an actual deposit. Um, but you know, with the size of the world, they're they're fairly few and far between now. I am going to crush this big one. Yeah, they're they're fairly few and far between. So. I think it the sensible thing is to plan on resources from rocks only initially until we get a hover vessel. And then what I plan to do, as soon as I get to level three, get to level three as quickly as possible and have enough iron, silicon and copper to build a basic hover vessel. And again, I'm gonna build the vessels from scratch. I'm not going to spawn things in um, because it's, you know, we're doing a, a pure survival 
Shouldn't there be another one somewhere? Another lump of rock? Hmm, obviously not that time. Yeah, we're doing a pure survival game, so, you know, let's let's survive. Okay, so what have we got? Two plants here. I might as well turn that into food. Buds, I'll make some coffee and let's... Oh, can't do that yet. Let's make a couple of berry juice as soon as we can. I'm also going to make an emergency generator at some point. Uh, oxygen generator. Not because we need it on this planet, but... but what it can do is start slowly producing lots of the small CO2 bottles, or CO2, oxygen, we don't breathe CO2, last time I checked, lots of the oxygen bottles so that we can, when we do get an SV, we can run up to space, try and find some decent resources up there as well. Right, two reasons I want to go to this high ground. One is because usually I find, I've found that you can get silicon rocks in the high area. And might as well get that made now. Do I have a tent? Yes, I do have a tent. And also, we can have a good scout around and a good view over a longer distance to see if we can see any POIs or what could be a POI. I'll grab more of those berries though. Um, might as well make another one. Now, they'll spoil eventually, but we do need some healing. We've got it. Okay, I'm not finding any silicon here, am I? I'm not finding silicon! Silly cans, or silly cons. Is that... Are they stupid criminals? Silly cons. <laughs> Comedy genius. Okay. I've seen a lot of anything. Let's over to this this side and see if we can spot anything. We are against the clock as well because I really don't want to be on foot when um, tomorrow's daylight comes because we're going to be pretty vulnerable to predators at that point. Um, so really, we want to have a motorbike by day two. All things being equal. That's what we want. It's what we want. What we really, really want. Let's not jump down the side of the mountain. Okay, I think this is going to be our sensible area to go. Because I know we're going to get copper and iron rocks within that savannah. It's a bit easier to navigate than that forest. Um, still don't see anything that could be a POI. Yeah. How are we doing with our suit constructor? Good. Good, 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 good. Let's just pop that there. Okay, so let's head down. And we'll go that way through the savannah. I know we can get plant protein, we can get vegetables. We can get... Um, plant fibers. The temperature hopefully will be in our comfort zone because we don't have a suit yet. Okay, so it's a case of running around, gathering stuff, gaining levels, finding food, and generally. Having a good old time. Why am I not finding rocks? Let's send the drone up. Um, that is a big mozzie. That is a really big mozzie. <laughs> and we get plenty of mozzies here in Queensland. So I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I guess if all those fowls of vegetables are good. We're still fairly close to our starting biome down there. I think that's where we started. Yeah, the other side of that hill, wasn't it? Wow, I'm really not seeing any resource rocks around.
Get some copper over there. Um, I may have to just gather more and more crushed stone just to be on the safe side. What are we getting from that? 17 from that. That's not a lot. It's not even enough to make one iron ore. Um, this feels like it's going to be a bit of a tough start, actually. Let's head over to that. These plants. At least keep getting the levels up. I've got to find silicon because I need silicon as part of the motorcycle build as well. Okay, I see some rocks down that way. There's level three, so we're at the right level now to actually be able to build a hover vehicle. Albeit a fairly basic one, there's a rock. Um, I'm not sure how, how much would I need to safely build something. I guess if I had 50 ore of each, I'd probably be well within that zone of being able to create a basic hover vessel. Some rocks over here. Let's go over this way. We'll head generally, I think, towards those mountains. Um, to use the drone whilst we're resting. Because although we're getting iron and copper from here, from these areas, I feel certain we'll get some silicon from there. He says, <laughs> in all certainty. Might as well turn some of these vegetables into food. Let's just make as many as we can. Yeah. Um, okay. Send up the drone. Have we got anything? Not a lot. Oh, there's an iron rock over there. Let's head over to that. Yeah, so if we're doing the Roberts Protocol, we would have a mission to do. We would be heading towards that main wreckage. We'd have a motorbike waiting for us when we got there. And we would probably discover resources, um, the resource nodes on the way. I see iron and copper over there. There's copper over there. I think be sensible to head over to these first yeah so but doing it this way not so much of a, a set way to do things you're off on your own and even with a hover vessel it is really tricky to find um, resources the actual resource nodes on these maps because they're just so big not and that isn't complaint at all um, not in the slightest. So what have we got? We've got 15, 10, 10, 11. So there are, there are plenty of resources available. But unfortunately, it's just such a huge planet. <laughs> so I guess this is all we can do. Um, I mean, at the moment, 42 iron. That's really good. 23 copper is pretty good as well. So we're not doing bad for resources. If I can get some silicon before nightfall... I'm fairly confident that we can build, do you know what, if I can get that much silicon as well, we may not even need to build a motorcycle, um, as long as we can get a fairly safe camp. And I think the safest place, I, I guess you could, we could dig a hole in a mountain, like an old Minecraft style, <laughs> and just block it up. Um, but you know, whilst we build a hover vessel, but my feeling is that is that one of the safest places you can build a, a temporary camp is kind of on on the edge of some water because I don't think the critters will chase you very far into the water when they're after you. Um, 
Okay, we've got some resources over that way. Let's head over that way. Keep heading towards those hills. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah, I don't think the critters will chase you far into the water, so um, having your camp on the edge of the water whilst you build something like a, a hover vessel, which takes a bit of time because you've got to craft all the stuff as well when you're building it from scratch. It's not a case of putting stuff into the factory and just waiting until it's built. You've got to actually physically do the build um, and craft all of the stuff. So it takes time. And during that time, when you've got stuff, critters that want to eat your face, rip off your arms, rip off your head and crap down your neck, and all the various things that they want to do, then you need to be safe-ish, or as safe as you possibly can. So at the moment, I think, although, albeit I, I don't feel like we're finding a lot, we're not doing bad for resources, in fact. Um, not bad at all. Certainly do with a bit more copper, but I'm, I'm fairly confident we'll find some of that over there as well. Yeah. I think... I keep pressing the wrong button. I think we'd still stick to our plan. Let's head this way. We'll keep gathering resources. Um, we've got to be a bit careful going up the mountainside because temperature is going to play a big part. I I saw some more copper along here. Whee! He is good at jumping, that's for sure. It's going to be night soon as well, so we've got to be careful with temperature. Okay, that looks like silicon. No, that is just a rock. Come here. Um, that's a rock, isn't it? I think that is silicon. No. Yes. Cool beans. Okay, let's send up the drone and see if we can find any more. I think that's just a rock. Yeah. That looks like silicon. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach with my drone. Yeah, just. <laughs> just. What about that? No. Okay, let's head on up a bit more. It's getting colder and colder. But we need these resources. Okay. I guess we can handle it for a little while, can't we? Come on, give me some silicon. I have to say, the other time I played this through um, I struggled for silicon then as well and then when I didn't need it I found tons of it the problem is these rocks look exactly like silicon rocks so it's very easily fooled these are silicon rocks no, they're not. Oh, come on. Give me some silicon. Send up the drone. That's got potential. No. 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 What's that over there? I don't think it's anything. I'm going to have to get off this mountain soon, aren't I? So. Um. Could do have been heading towards water as well. 
So how about... Let's head towards there and we can skirt the edge of this mountain and hopefully get the resources we need to survive. Checked all these, didn't I? Well, that marker didn't seem that far away. 1.3 kilometers. It seemed closer than that. Is that silicon rock? Is that silicon rock? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Down to zero degrees. We're going to get cold soon. What's our temperature? 17. Okay, let's head down the edge of this. We might as well gather some of this other stuff whilst we're at it. Oh, that looks like silicon. No, it isn't. Oh! <laughs> Fool me once. Fool me twice. I'm not finding much of anything here. Unfortunately, silicon is absolutely vital to our plan. Absolutely vital. Without that, we can't progress. Yeah, I know, you're cold. Okay. Let's start heading off this before we start freezing to death. Oh, we're going to have to get off these mountains completely, aren't we? Come on. Get going, buddy. I don't think I've got anything to warm me up either. Oh, I've got that. Okay. Body temperature three. We might as well eat as well. What is this? Antibiotic ointment. I know I'm cold. silicon. Come here! Don't run away from me! Oh, it's going to be dark soon as well, isn't it? Come on. Get into the warmth. Doesn't seem to be warming up at all, does it? Nine degrees. Okay, it's warming up a little bit. Right, how much silicon do we need? How much crushed rock do we need to make silicon, I wonder? I don't think we're going to have it anywhere near enough. I think we're going to go into freezing mode at the moment, but we're not really warming up. Buds, I can make coffee with that, can I? Yep, sure can. Well, it started really well. It's just that silicon. There's always one resource, it seems, with this one, that you just don't get. Now it's night. Does that mean it's going to get colder? 
Now I think it's the same as the other one where we're still safe until the 24 hours has passed even though it's night time now. We're still pretty high aren't we? I'm just going to have to keep gathering crushed stone I think. Just need to warm up a touch more. Oh, that looks like silicon. It is. Hopefully, we're in an area that has some then. Are we recovered now? Right, let's eat. Yeah, your food goes down quicker when your stamina's down like that as well, so when you're cold. So, lots of bad effects, unfortunately. I'm getting cold. Uh, with that silicon rot there, I was hoping we were going to be in a region with some. What have we got? 14. That's not even enough for 30 ingots. That's not enough. Onwards and upwards. At least we can run again now. Still nothing. Let's crack this one. We still haven't been through one car, uh, one can of fuel yet, so we're doing all right for. Fuel, I guess. About 40. Is there another bunch of it around somewhere? No. Disappointing. Level 4. Level 5 is the ideal one we can get we want to get to because then we can so have a look. Yeah, fridge, armor locker. Yeah. And we'll actually be able to unlock the armor as well. So, yeah. I guess the fridge is probably more important than the armor locker initially. Um, where's that marker? There it is. Send out the drone. See if we can't spot that looks like silicon. Yeah. So it looks like we're in a silicon zone, it's just not so easy to spot at night. Um Okay. Let's crack on. Crack on. So I guess the question is, do we have enough resources to make a hover vehicle or do we just go for the motorbike and play it safe? Um, I think we're going to have to go for the motorbike. I don't think we're quite there. Uh, yeah, with what we need. 
No. Okay, let's set up here for now. Bang that lock into there. And let's get our motorbike done. Boom. Um, whilst that's doing, let's unlock the stuff we need for our hover vessel. So we need... Boom. Boom. Uh, I'll leave the mobile constructor for the moment until we've definitely got the other stuff. Need thrusters. Cockpit. Okay, I definitely need the harvest module. Um, and I do believe we can't make that in survival constructor, so we're going to need the mobile constructor. So that leaves us, what, 15 points. Um, I'm not going to go for a Gatling gun just yet. Let's have a look. Do 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 do. Um, multi tool. Well, we don't have any Promethium yet to make the charges for it, so there's not much point with that. Weapons. We've got a pistol, but it would be nice to have an assault rifle. Um, again, I don't think you make those in the mobile constructor. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah. Okay, let's get the hover vessel together first, and then we'll think about an assault rifle. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We'll save that 15 points and just hang on till we need it. Uh, what can we make? Plant protein. Might as well make it so that they don't sort of refresh the um, perish time on it, I guess. What are we? We're just above level 4 by the looks of it. So we've got a little way to go to level 5. Cool beans. Um, what can we make? Burn, frostbite, open wound. Um, do you know what? We might as well since we only have one plant protein. Okay, so we have our motorbike. Um, so come morning, we can actually do a, a proper search for silicon. We've already got eight ingots there. There's another ten, so we've got twenty ingots. How much crushed? How much of this can we actually make? Let's make as much as we can from this crushed stone. Fifteen crushed stone to make it. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. So if quick maths: one hundred and fifty will be ten. That will make twenty ingots. Plus another 30. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not far off. I don't think we're far off at all. I think what we'll do is spend the next daylight. Um, if I go to sleep, all this will spoil. So, is there anything we can make? Stomach pills. Yes. Definitely want stomach pills. Let's make as many as we can. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to make these and I'm going to call it there. Uh, we'll go to sleep and in the morning we'll use the motorbike to go out, gather some more resources from rocks from around this immediate area. And then by the end of that day, what I'll do is set up camp near the water somewhere and we'll build a hover vessel. But I'll do that in the next episode. So by the end of the next episode, we'll be running around in a hover vessel with a harvest module on it. And we'll be out of that survival phase and we'll be good to go, really. We'll be out of the danger zone. So yeah, cool beans, as they say in Beanville. Or wherever it is. Well, we can get one more out of it. 
Yes, which means we're going to, that's going to give us 50 ingots, plus the 8 we already have. That's pretty good. We don't need to do much at all now to get our hover vessel. Yeah, a few more iron, a few more copper, a little bit more silicon, and we are good to go. Um, and I think what I'll also do is make a bunch of biofuel. I don't know how long it will be before we manage to get hold of Prometheum. So how many of these can they make? What do they need? One spice, one herbal leaves. So I can make three more. Cool. I'll let those make before I go to sleep because otherwise this stuff will spoil and we'll lose the opportunity to make it. So yeah, brilliant. Okay. Not a bad start, I think. I think. I haven't got a lot to compare it to, quite frankly. But I think we're we're doing okay. Um, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry the last playthrough had to end without finishing the, pro the Robinson Protocol all the way through. But uh, like I said, it's, it is experimental branch. These things do happen. And it is a pain. Um, but hopefully we'll get a good play through this time and see a lot more of the updates in in effect in this particular playthrough. And until then, I'll see you all later. Bye.